Hey there, Doc. It's Jason Falls. Uh, thanks for the question on VidProCo. Uh, Jason kinsler has got an answer for you um, down the list there, and I absolutely uh, agree with what he has to say. Uh, but I think Jason went into the basically how to be a PR person uh, if you're a business person, um, and which is not wrong. Uh, his advice is ac ac actually very sound. Uh, but a lot of business people don't have time to be their own PR people. They don't have budgets to pull down media lists from paid services like Cision and Vocus and Burrells and things like that. So here's a couple of quick tips. Uh, if you just want to do something quick, if you've got something that you want to get uh, into the media or you want to position yourself as a uh, local um, thought leader or authority on a certain topic, um, personal outreach to the reporter, the editor, the assignment desk editor at a television station, um, all of that I think is, is absolutely uh, inbounds, even if you're not a PR person. Um, you know, just sort of clearly communicate who you are and why you're uh, communicating with them, um, and they're probably going to listen to you. Um, if you're reaching out via email, you just say, hey, here's who I am. Uh, I've got, you know, something interesting to share with you that you might be interested in writing it uh, about, um, and I'd like to talk to you about it. Then let them be proactive in following up with you. Um, that's an easier way to get them on the hook than hard selling them. Um, I would caveat that, though, however, uh, that's point one. Point two is um, what you have to say uh, and what you want to get in the in the media might be an interesting story to you, but it may not be to them. Um, you're going to get you know turned down and rejected quite a bit, and so you need to understand that uh, PR people get no's quite a bit. Um, but what I would do is I would you know put together a compelling story, a compelling reason that the reporter ought to write or ought to come out and do an interview with you about whatever the subject is. Uh, and then bounce it off a couple of people and maybe a couple of people who aren't just going to tell you what you want to hear, but people who are going to be honest with you and say, you know what, that's really not interesting. I don't think the, uh, the media is going to be interested in something like that. It's not noteworthy or newsworthy. Uh, find those people, bounce it off of them, and if they give you some positive response, then reach out to the reporter. That's probably a more efficient way uh, and it'll help you uh, avoid those no's from time to time. So those are just two quick things you can do. You don't have to really prepare or do any research. Uh, you just have to make sure that you uh, have a compelling story to tell, and then you just reach out to them very respectfully. Um, you know, reporters like it to be short and concise. They don't have a lot of time in their day either. Um, and uh, I think you'll start to see yourself uh, become a trusted resource for them, and you can build on that relationship over time. So that's what I would throw out there for you. Again, Jason's got some other uh, great advice uh, on down the line there on the video, so watch his as well. But uh, that's what I've got to say. Thanks for uh, asking questions here on VidProCo.